This is one of those moments that reminds me why I never relax after whelping. This is Rosa, a girl staying with me for whelping and litter rearing. She'd been calm and settled after feeding her pups. Then within minutes she started trembling. Her eyes began flickering, that classic neurological movement we call nystagmus. I'm Tracy, a qualified veterinary nurse, professional whelper and breeder mentor, and I've seen this before. It's eclampsia or hypercalcemia. I gave Rosa a loading dose of Colcal D, the liquid calcium I always keep in my whelping kit. Within about 30 minutes, Rosa was settling, her eyes were returning to normal, and she was comfortable again. By acting fast, we avoided an emergency vet visit, and she stayed right where she should be, in the whelping box with her puppies. A lot of breeders try to help by giving foods like cheese, goat's milk or ice cream. The problem is those foods don't contain vitamin D, so the calcium in them isn't absorbed quickly. A dog would need an enormous amount for it to make any difference, and by then the situation can already be critical. It's why oral calcium supplements with vitamin D, like Colcal D, are so essential in a whelping setup. They're designed for rapid absorption when every minute counts. And here's a statistic that always stays with me. Around 25% of all emergency vet visits in breeding dogs are due to eclampsia. If you give calcium before your vet checks blood levels, the results might not show how low she really was. Always tell your vet exactly what you've given and when. It helps them make the best decisions for your girl. Eclampsia can strike at any time, but I've noted it most often days two to three after whelping, and then again around weeks two to three when milk demand peaks. And remember, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Even during a calcium crash, keeping mum well hydrated helps her oral calcium absorb more effectively and supports her recovery. Follow for more breeder education.